Hello everyone and welcome back to Storytime with Miss Holly. Today's book we're going to be reading Scaredy Bear which is by Steve Smallman and Caroline Pedler. It's a lovely heartwarming tale which is about friendship and overcoming our fears. So let's open our books and let's read together. Little Bob was the bravest of bunnies. He loved exploring, but he hated going to bed. Oh, why can't I go out to play? He moaned. Because, said his mum, in the dark, deep forest, there's nothing so scary as the terrible creature they call Big Hairy. He's got huge, scary teeth and long, scary claws, and it sounds like thunder whenever he roars. His mum was asleep. Then he crept out of bed, grabbed an extra pointy carrot and set off to find Big Hairy. The forest felt mean and menacing in the moonlight. Perhaps I should look for the Big Hairy another day, little Bob whispered to himself. Then he spotted a shadow. A shadow that looked exactly like an owl. Quick as a flash, little Bob ran this way and that. He dodged and swerved and climbed and leapt. And just in time, he dived under a great big bush. But it wasn't a bush. It was a bear. Eek! Squeaked the bear. You scared me. Sorry, said little Bob. I'm hunting for the big hairy. In all the forest, there's nothing so scary as the terrible creature that they call big hairy. He sounds awful, gasped the bear. Who didn't want to be on his own? If there's a monster around, can I come with you? Okay, nodded the bunny. My name's Little Bob. What's yours? I don't know, said the bear. What do your friends call you? asked Little Bob. I haven't got any friends, said the bear. Oh, said Little Bob. Well, I'll be your friend if you like, and I will call you hmm, Big Bob. Big Bob was very excited to have a friend. What do friends do? he asked. This and that, little Bob said with a shrug. So that's what they did until Big Bob's tummy started to rumble. Little Bob, he said, do friends share their carrots? Yes, said little Bob, but not this carrot. I'm going to stick this right up Big Harry's nose. Gosh, gulped Big Bob. How can you be so brave when you are so small? Because, little Bob whispered, I'm big on the inside. I must be tiny on the inside, sighed Big Bob. I'm sure there's a big bear in there somewhere, said little Bob, looking into Big Bob's ears. You just need to let him out. Then Little Bob's tummy rumbled too. I'll get us some food, smiled Big Bob, ambling off. It wasn't long before Little Bob heard a noise behind him. That was quick, he chuckled. But it wasn't his friend. The fox leaped toward Little Bob and was about to gobble him up when... Out from the bushes came a huge, hairy creature. It had big, scary teeth and long, scary claws, and it made the ground shake with their thunderous roars. The fox was so scared, he raced away into the trees. It's the big, hairy, squealed little Bob, shakingly holding up his extra pointed carrot. Then the big, hairy stopped roaring gave a worried smile and said, Are you all right, little Bob? 
Big Bob, it's you, cried Little Bob in surprise. You're the Big Harry. It can't be, said Big Bob. I'm just a scaredy bear. It's the big bear inside you, beamed Little Bob. You let it out. Oh no, gasped Big Bob. Does that mean you're going to stick your carrot up my nose? Little Bob looked at his friend's worried face and started to giggle. Then he started to laugh. Soon Big Bob was laughing too. And when they were all laughed out, they shared the extra pointy carrot for supper. What shall we do now, Big Bob? yawned Little Bob. I think it's time for you to go home, said Big Bob. But can we still be friends tomorrow? Of course, said Little Bob. We can be friends forever, Big Bob smiled. Then the two friends wandered on, chatting about this and that, all the way home to bed. How lovely. Thank you so much for reading with me today. I'll see you next time for another story. Bye.